Hello friends. In today's lesson, I am going to show you how to connect to DB2 database using SQL Developer. So I am using SQL Developer version 4.2. And I will be connecting to DB2 database using SQL Developer. So to connect to DB2 database uh, using SQL Developer, what we need is a third party KDBC driver. So, <coughs> IBM DB2, uh, uh, IBM DB2 actually deliver or I mean they provide their own JDBC driver. So, I'll be just going to Tools, Preference, Database, and third party JDBC driver, and I'll add from here. <coughs> go to a SQL developer so it is located in this folder that is roaming uh, app data roaming SQL developer we have db2 jc jcc dot jar we select this <coughs> and click ok now after this if you click on plus sign you will get a db2 tab like see you have SQL server tab okay, to connect to SQL server a side is from uh, SQL developers similarly you have db2 tab so I'll just name it like con db2 username is sr password is just remember one thing uh, I think I hope you already know that db2 actually use the windows authentication okay or os authentication so this is my OS authentication. I log into my OS using this username and this password. Okay. Now here we have to give the host name. So if you are using um, connecting to sub db2 database which is as remote host, you have to provide the IP address. So I am um, connecting from my local machine. So I will put the loopback adapter address. Okay. So port is. Uh, Fifty thousand. So this is the default port number, and the database is this is the database. So I'll test the connection. And the connection is successful. Okay, I'll save this change and I'll connect okay so we'll connect you will get a new worksheet window I mean you will get a new workspace window and first we will try to create a table let's like create table uh, you have to mention the schema name okay apply dot say employee okay emp id numeric int EMP name worker hundred okay. Let us execute the script. Okay, so table is created. Okay, now let us open this and check whether we have the tables yeah we have other two tables also we will just look into this table ok it's there <coughs> 
so we have mp id decimal and mp name farkar so there is no data now i will insert some data into this insert into dot employee values one comma vanil let's copy this one paste paste okay Henry and Peter. So let us see the ID four three two. Now it's a bit this. Okay. So let us now select start from. Place. Okay, so it's uh, executed twice, so we get this record, duplicate records. Okay, so now I will just delete, delete from reply dot reply. Where EMP ID equal to four. <coughs> now I will select two rows deleted. Select and six rows. Okay. Now let us update. Update employee dot employee. Set EMP name equal to path where EMP ID equal to two. Two was updated. You can execute this next statement. Okay, now you see Langdon is converted to path. Now I will drop this table. Drop table and play. Dropped. So now if we do select, we will not able to find it. Not found. Okay. So let us now refresh again and see whether we have this. The table does not exist, so I'll again have to disconnect and reconnect and check work. Okay, no, let me not go for this. So, this is how we can connect to the skill developer to so connect to DB2 from a skill developer and so we create, you know, and, I mean, execute some DDL, do some DDL or DML operation. So, this is all about this tutorial. I'll come up with a more um, another tutorial uh, with more uh, SQL command to use in db2 so that's all about this tutorial thank you everyone bye